right, guys, we're going to move on to our second pitch, which is Campfire, presented by Manchon and Rover. we were given an assignment on improving the ROI. Interviewing the users, most people propose to us what the government should do. Some saying the government should clean out the homeless, some saying the government should judge the canal. I then met an uncle pushing his shopping cart to have trash, and he said, I am cleaning the ROI. True, a lot can be done by the government, but I couldn't help but wonder where are more people like uncle, and how can we better support people like him? Hawaii is home for us. Together, we can make a difference in the place where we call home. We propose to you our solution, Campfire, an online platform dedicated to exploring lo local wisdom and cultivating social change. In this journey, I met Roman and Jason, who collectively believe in the concept of paying it forward. In search for an answer, our mentors point to us two concepts, Ho'oponopono Pono and design thinking, two methodologies for problem solving. Throughout this, um, two frameworks, there are eight stages that we're facilitating, but today we'll be focusing on stage one, empathy building, and stage six, ideating. Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian practice for forgiveness and reconciliation. In Ho'oponopono, contemporary users of Hawaiian problem-solving process, the author Victoria's joke emphasizes this core. The essence of Ho'oponopono is aloha, the values that Hawaiians have, sincerity, commitment to the family and to the group, are all very essential to the whole thing. It's the belief that everything is reciprocal. In Campfire, we look to marry the same level of um, understanding by um, fostering understanding between one another. In the exploration screens, you can see a list of topics proposed by the users. For example, if the, for, for example, if the user select education, they will see a list of insights populated by the users. They can be the good, the bad, and the ugly of our educations. Understanding different views allow one to be unbiased towards a group. Design thinking is an iterative, human-centered problem-solving process focusing on prototyping and testing. In stage six, ideating, users can post ideas upon the brainstorming board. Users are encouraged to read into each other's idea to generate a more comprehensive idea. Once they have few ideas, they can take out, test it on um, the community, look for feedback, and with new insights and new feedback, they can relay the process again. So Campfire serves as a safe space for people to talk on issues that care about them, um, implement tangible change, and become free-thinking thought leaders. But Roman, I can talk about my problem on Facebook too. So Facebook, Reddit are um, good platforms that focus, are intended to focus on community, but more geared Geared towards more um, conversation. With Campfire, we really uh, provide an opportunity for those people to act on those things. But I can submit petitions on change.org. So change.org is a really good uh, way to motivate the community to act and support petitions. However, the nature of petition is passive. So with Campfire, we really aim to put responsibility back into our users and for them to, instead of wait for the change, to be the change themselves. How can different people use Campfire? Cool. So first, we'd like, like to actually partner with the Hawaii DOE. So within the DOE's uh, promise plan, uh, design thinking is actually listed as a tool under the innovation pillar. So as you can see, like educators and schools are already investing in this tool, and they're looking for problem, sol problem solvers excuse me, to help with things like creating curriculum, improving retention rates, and increasing overall involvement. So as you can see, uh, this can be really be used as an equity for all types of students, for those who are nervous to speak in front of a room, um, and also those who have great ideas but aren't necessarily encouraged to speak their mind. So um, once established in schools, we'd like to move towards uh, local communities as well as ex um, enterprises through specific problems such as environmental protection and um, improving customer experience. Because after all, Campfire is not just about solving problems, we're here to invest in people and grow leaders. Here are some current supporters that currently implement design thinking, and exclude, it includes camp schools, uh, local state offices, as well as uh, businesses like private sectors. So to reiterate, Campfire is special because we explore community insight, 
We cultivate wisdom and experience and turn them into ideas, facilitate problem solving, and most importantly, we give power back to the community to inspire future leaders to help be the change. Um, people will come, will become interconnected through ideas that are personal to them. Thank you guys. Find what the problem is, then uh, then we're gonna go into the brainstorming page where people can post the ideas and stuff. And the beauty of that is we really get to see how people are doing it in different ways. And with that, we will they can join online sections on you know how they can collaborate together. Uh, we will give them tools. We can give them. We'll give like mentor advising board in the future setup so that you know they're not working on their own. They're also guided by a panel of mentors who are experienced in doing social change. And you know, the idea of prototyping and design thinking is that you are not, you know, build an entire business plan all at once, right? You take a very small piece of it, test them in the community and see how it works. You don't really have to build something, you just talk to people and learn how they feel about it. By building small steps, you'll make it much easier to transition to a bigger plan. So thank you for this. This is wonderful, and I love the point of being able to empower the community to take action and change. So in the, the rollout and talking about education and the community and this, um, businesses, wondering if you could share more of how funders and investors help support the change that happens, because I'm assuming they would need to have funding in order to make change happen. Right. So funding is an interesting question, right? It is kind of sensitive. But um, to develop this platform it is going to um, need money to um, have developer develop out. And also, one of the biggest challenges is probably outreach, right? Because the community are not very used to collaborating with people. If you think about, you know, just different schools, more lower high school, Farrington high school, they might be facing the same problem of bullying, but you don't see people collaborating with each other. And I think that's the biggest problem um, between um, the stakeholders, is that we do not cooperate. So, um, by having personal outreach to them, going to sections, talking to them that we need, there's a it, the importance of collaborating, you know, that is going to help a long way of building a solution that will sustain the state. Yeah, so similar, like, it's a great presentation. I was just thinking about like, um, you know, all those platforms that you talk about, like the Reddits and the Facebooks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see like a really cool idea like this get hijacked and then kind of pervaded in a way that kind of like, it could be also a, a center for like you know spewing bad ideas mm -hmm. and start to cultivate that type of thinking. So you guys thought about like how would you kind of moderate for that content or what kind of guiding <coughs> principles would you say like that's acceptable policy? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that is all part of insights, right? Um, is if people think you know if we take a controversial topic like recycling, there are people going to think that recycling is not necessary. They think that global warming is fake. You know, there is no such thing. But those are all insights. We need to take them into account and think about how we can tackle those points to, you know, change the mind saying that um, global warming is real. You know, we cannot just ignore those extreme users. Those extreme users are really useful when we talk about idea explorations. Because when we can change the extreme users, then we can change people. Oh, yes. Maria, um, stories. Uh, I'm just wondering your business plan. So you're going to go after the Department of Education mm -hmm. and the department can go in, the administrators can go in or the kids? Right. And then, are, and then it's only for their community and nobody outside has access. Is that? And so it's like a subscription fee? Right. So starting with school is, the reason why we start with school is that we have a really stable user space, user, user place, right? Um, so we're students, we're administrators, we're teachers. Because, you know, throughout the history, we don't really see anything that can allow the three party to collaborate into one, at one thing. So it's going to be, first we're going to do a subscription model first in a, in a school, test out how it works, you know, 
get a feedback, improve on it. Then we can work out to the community and expand to everyone, where everyone can freely talk about topics and insights that they're passionate about. And then they get to the enterprise. Of course, it's, that's going to be a subscription model. Yeah, that's going to be enclosed and closed by them only. One more question. Yeah. Um, yeah, just clarifying, as you um, as you look at the different users, so part of your role would be to facilitate those conversations and provide that mentorship and kind of match those different things together? And is that is that accurate? We would like it to be more organic and dynamic. It's going to be hosted by the community. You know, if the community feels like they should, you know, involve in a certain topics, we we'll encourage them to do so. But we don't want to say that, hey, Today, you know, we should focus on homelessness because that's mostly talked about. Uh, because that's not true for everyone, right? Some people are more passionate in education. There's some people more passionate in um, climate change. So we're gonna have different boards open for everyone. So they self-select by the um, topic, right? Okay, thank you. And this is not a question, but oh. a uh, quick offering. So in addition to aligning it to the promise for the 2030 DBS mm -hmm. plan, we can also consider the alignment to. Nothing and the social emotional oh, yes. mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you.